Migration to Abyssinia When the number of Muslims increased and the disbelievers began to fear them, the oppression towards the Muslims increased greatly. So the Prophet ﷺ permitted the Muslims to migrate to Abyssinia. And he said, Indeed there is a king there under whom none is oppressed. The first migration. Twelve men and four women migrated to Abyssinia. From them was Uthman bin Affan. He was the first to leave with his wife, Ruqayya, the daughter of the Prophet ﷺ. They settled within Abyssinia in the best vicinage, living as good neighbours. Soon after, false news came to them that the Quraysh had embraced Islam, so they returned to Mecca. However, when they saw that the situation was much worse than before, some of them had returned to Abyssinia, whilst another group had entered Mecca and received severe harm from the Quraysh. From them was Abdullah bin Mas'ud. The Second Migration this time there were 83 men and 18 women. They settled with Najashi, the king of Abyssinia, in the best of circumstances. When this reached the Quraysh, they sent Amr ibn As and Abdullah ibn Abi Rabia with a squad to plot against them with Najashi. However, Allah threw their plots back against them, meaning they were unsuccessful.